how to make life-changing decisions. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a new Motivational Monday, episode number two, in which we're discussing tips and tricks on how to live better and happier. That sounds super cheesy, but who cares? In today's episode, we are discussing about how to make life-changing decisions. Because, you see, no matter what situation you're in, there is this point in time where you're gonna be asking yourself, am I going that route or am I going that route? It can be either pursuing a dream that you've had for many years or simply a new project or changing jobs, changing careers, going with someone, getting married. No matter what it is, those decisions are usually very difficult to make. And I want to share you with you a framework that I found super helpful on how to make those decisions way easier. We're going to be talking about four steps that I came up with and I call them the what analysis. Step number one is actually doing a why analysis. Step number two is doing a what if analysis. I know lots of analysis. Step number three is addressing your concerns. Step number four is simply taking action. And before I explain all those four different steps, let me ask you the question of the day before everyone drops out of that video. What was the hardest decision you've made in your life so far? Leave your answer in the comments below. I'm reading all the comments and responding to you guys. So let's just discuss around that. And with no further ado, I'm going to share with you my personal framework on how to make life-changing decisions. All right, so let's dig into it. Step number one is going to be why. You want to ask yourself why you want to do something and this sounds very familiar because if you remember that video where I'm talking about consistency, I already mentioned why you should always ask yourself why you're doing something because simply to make it short, it's going to remind you what your real driver is. And just check out that video if you want to really dig into the why. And that decision making uh, part, uh, you want to ask yourself why would I do that exactly? what is driving me inside to actually make that decision, okay? So let's say you want to quit your job and be open a bakery. Just ask yourself why you want to do that exactly. And to do that, in my opinion, the, the best way is simply to stand up, get moving a bit, breathing, breathe out. And try to imagine yourself in the best place possible that you love and imagine yourself doing what you want to be doing. And simply un try to understand and feel the situation and see why exactly you're doing it. Once you know why you're doing something, you want to understand what happens if you do it, right? So that takes us to the second step. It's basically a simple analysis of the scenario of you take, making that decision or not making it. In that same state of mind, uh, close your eyes and imagine yourself making that decision, going into the moment, doing it, knowing exactly that it will work 100%, okay? So imagine yourself doing that and now list all the positive outcomes of making that decision and then just try to think about fears or concerns or basically negative outcomes of making that decision, right? And listing those will actually really help for the third part which is addressing concerns. Because now that you have concerns and fears, you want to be addressing them, making sure that you know you're not making a decision out of nowhere but you are actually conscious of what that implies and how you can mitigate those fears and those uh, negative outcomes. So now that you have your list of negative outcomes and fears, you wanna just list down for each of them what is the worst case scenario. For example, if one is I don't have money, I'm gonna lose my job because I wanna travel the world. Well, you might, you might wanna write down money issue and then ask yourself what is the worst case do you have saving? You don't have saving? Can you get a job? Can you get a part-time job? Can you save before you go on for that project? You really want to be writing down very simple action to mitigate that problem. That will help you just be creative on, uh, on those and find good solutions or just make you feel at ease with it. Your worst case scenario might simply be uh, I don't have a job so I have to move back with my parents, you know, if you're young. And basically mitigating those like negative outcomes is very, very important. Every like successful entrepreneurs, if you read about their biography, if you read about Richard Branson's biography, you will always understand that they cover their downsides basically. And what that means is simply they might take like huge risks, but they have a fallback plan in the sense that they know what is the worst case scenario and they took actions towards making that worst case scenario actually not that bad. All right, now that you've got that third step nailed, you wanna move to the last one, which is taking action. And that is very important because you wanna be taking action right now on the decision you just made. Whether it's to go for it or not to go for it, you wanna take an action right now as small as it is, 
just to get that machine moving. It, it can be writing down a plan, scheduling something for the future. Just make sure you take a very little action that will actually take you towards that decision you just made. This is like super critical if you want to keep the momentum, but check out the video on consistency if you want to dig more into that subject. And you know what, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do. I'm going to be linking below a few other videos that I found really helpful to either making decisions or feeling happy with the decision we make because there are other people who have great ideas so I'm just gonna share them in the link below if you're interested go check them out no matter what kind of decision you're making at the end of the day it's something that is very personal and you must be happy with it because no matter what amount of money you might be accumulating in your life if that doesn't bring you closer to happiness well, why do you do it exactly? So just make sure the decisions that you're making in your life are actually all geared towards is this making me happier? Is buying this making me happier? Is changing that lifestyle making me happier? If the answer is yes, most likely go for it. If the answer is no, why do you even care? I don't know. Just do things that actually bring you more joy in your everyday life. This is the most important. That's the only thing you're left with in your life. That's the only thing we're living for at the end of the day. It's just to find joy and happiness within ourselves. And we just all have different ways of fulfilling it. So make sure that your way of fulfilling it is really true to yourself. And just to recap, remember, you just do that what exercise, which is basically asking yourself why, asking yourself what if, addressing your concern and taking action. And with that being said, guys, that's going to be it for today. Remember, the question of the day is, what was the hardest decision that you've made in your life so far? How did you decide about it? And did it have a positive or negative impact on the rest of your life? So let me know in the comments. And remember, guys, if you like that video, leave a big thumbs up. Please share it with a friend who you think that might be helpful for. Make sure you subscribe to that channel. I'm traveling everywhere around the world and creating daily videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to follow the adventures. And remember, guys, make the most of your time on this planet. You never know when it ends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.